Yay Networks. Hi, guys. This is Carrie. And this is Cam. And thank you for joining us. I mean, we're so excited to do this little podcast with all of you. And we're so excited for you guys to get to know the real us. I know you only get to see a glimpse of us on the show. So we really want you guys to get to hang with us. Yes, we want to talk about fashion, kids, health, anything that's going on in our lives. And so, family and husbands. Yeah, so tune in and, you know, let's have some fun. And girl talk. So hi, guys. Welcome back to a Cam and Carrie to Dallas episode. We are hey guys, again, calling in from Montecito. Again, from Montecito, we're doing another Zoom um, episode, which I'm getting sad about this, Cam. I miss you next to me. I know. It's so weird. It's like we're um, video friends right now. I know. It's weird. I feel but like it's anyway. COVID again. When I, whenever I get on like a Zoom call, I feel like COVID started again or something. Oh, my gosh. I know. I get like PTSD. I know, me too. I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, I don't like this. I want you next to me. Well, yeah. last yeah. week, you know, we did my love language personality. Yes, yes. Which, my top one was intelli- intellectual. Yeah, intellectual. Yes, yes. Ooh, and I didn't realize how long the tests were. So, uh, you know, it took up the whole podcast. So now it's my lucky time. Now is your lucky time. So guys, we're going to have... Cam, take the love uh, sign. Right, like, yeah. you know, is that, it's like, what kind of love do you? It's your love language, right? Yeah. yeah. It's like, I guess it's, it's a love language. Yeah. Five. There's five love languages. So, okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, guys. Well, let's no. start. Let's get going. I cannot wait to see you. I'm kind of nervous. I don't know. I'm kind of nervous. I don't know if I want to know my love language. Oh. Okay. Um, Let's go. Let, let, are you ready? Okay. Okay. I feel most love when my partner tells me how important I am to them, gives me kiss and, kisses and hugs, brings me a special treat just because. Tells me how important I am to them. Okay. I feel most special to my partner when they make room in our budget for items that are important to me, share what they appreciate about me, like to do things with me in their spare time. Like to do things with me in their spare time. I feel best about my relationship when my partner tells me they are proud of me, invites me to spend time with them, looks after our children or other family members. Um, tells me they are proud of me. I feel most love when my partner Cooks a meal for me, praises my personal qualities, cuddles with me. Cuddles with me. Ooh, that means sexy time. Uh, <laughs> 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 who knew? Yeah, who knew? You know, there's <laughs> things called closet cases. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I feel special when my partner... Makes me feel safe, flirts with me, spoils me with gifts. Gosh, I'm in the middle of two. Makes me feel safe and spoils me with gifts. I like both. Oh, I think it definitely spoils me with gifts. I'm, I'm, I'm picking for you. Okay, we'll do spoils me with gifts. My partner can best show love to me by finding fun things for us to do together supporting me when I'm feeling down, buying me things I could not afford by myself. Mm. Supporting me when I'm feeling down. Okay. We know you need a lot of that last year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm feel- still alive. I'm still standing. <laughs> yes. I feel closest to my partner when they take care of chores I dislike Include me in their hobbies and interests. Comfort me when I am worried or anxious. Comfort me when I'm worried or anxious. Yeah, I wonder if you didn't do this housewife show, if your answers would be completely different. Because, you know, yeah. we have a lot of, we, you know, when we go through that, we had a lot of anxiety. A lot of drama, like a lot of trauma. Yeah, oh, exactly. Emotional trauma. I know. Okay, what actions from your partner make you feel most loved? 
put answers in order of most important. This was a fucking pain. Anyway, okay. okay. What? Okay. They help me with get things done. They share their true thoughts and opinions with me. They encourage me when I'm having a hard time with something, or they put their arm around me. Which one is one, two, three, four? Um, I would say number three is number one. Okay. Um, number, okay. So, um, they share their thoughts and opinions with me will be number two. Okay. And then they put their arm around me would be next. Oh, their pee pee inside you. And then last would be, (laughs) they help me get things done. (laughs) (laughs) I think that's what you like. <laughs> Complete the sentences. I feel most love with my partner. Good answers in order. Thanks me for things I do for them. Shows what they find me attractive. Discusses important decisions with me. Spends money on me. Um, I would probably say discusses important decisions with me. And then I'm just going to put spends money on me next. (laughs) And then um, let's see. Oh, third would be shows that they find me attractive. And that, and then the last would be thanks. Thanks me for the things I do for them. Okay. Complete the sentence. I feel most special to my partner when they value my opinion Listen to me talk about my problems. <laughs> Touches me in all the right places. Ah! <laughs> <I> said, ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, okay. Um, I would say value my opinion is number one. Okay. Um, probably um, <laughs> uh, buy me special gifts. <laughs> listen to me the t- okay the next would be listen to me talk about my problems and the last would be touch me <laughs> I don't know if I want my love language what can your partner do to make you feel most loved take me shopping no, just kidding <laughs> Just Share okay. your plans and dreams. Plans um, okay. tra- activities for us to do together. Praises my accomplishments or runs errands for me. Um, um, praise my accomplishments. Shares their plans and dreams. Plan activities for us to do together and run errands for me. Perfect. Okay. Next, next. Okay. What would you most like a partner to do to express their love to you? Take care of my belongings. From <laughs> <laughs> Let me vent when I'm stressed. Listen to my ideas and opinions. Hold my boobs. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Let me vent when I'm stressed. Okay. <laughs> um listen to my ideas and my opinions okay hold my hand <laughs> take care of my belongings okay i think i'm gonna make my own um personality test with i think you should carrie i think uh, it'd be really interesting a more interesting one <laughs> yeah i think that's what we should do for one of these we should create a oh cam and yeah. carrie's uh, love language and it should be an interesting okay question. we really should we really should it would be funny that would be yeah. really funny well and then which ones would uh cam pick and which ones carry pick yeah yeah <laughs> i mean you know that would be really funny okay yeah. like you would be like okay is it if your partner takes your dog on a walk and lets them wear pink outfits like things like that's that. true love that's true love exactly what yeah. what could your partner do to make you feel special? Okay. Give me recognition for my accomplishments. Plan a big surprise for me. Join me in hobbies we both enjoy. Ask me advice on important matters. 
um, played a big surprise for me. Mm. <laughs> um, give me recognition for my achievements. Um, join me in hobbies we both enjoy. Ask my mm -hmm. advice on important matters. Okay. What could your partner do to bring you closer? Mm. Take care of me when I'm not feeling well. Learn about my hobbies and interests. Plan oh, guys, these are so boring. Plan yeah. future goals with me. Do chores around the house. Um, I would say um, take care of me when I'm not feeling good is number one. Then plan future goals with me would be number two. Okay. And then the next two are good. Learn okay. about my hobbies and interests, then do chores around the house. Perfect. Okay. Next. I feel best about my relationship when my partner shares their true thoughts and opinions with me, runs errands for me. I mean, like really runs errands for me. Runs what errands? Who, what yeah. guy runs errands for their yes. wife? Well, like, I mean, I guess I could tell my husband to go pick up my prescription or something, but it gets yeah, delivered. Oh, yeah. I feel better so, uh, or puts their um, pee pee inside me. <laughs> like, I, <laughs> <laughs> we could have altered it. <laughs> yeah. Because you picked that one for everyone. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, Not necessarily, Cam. Well, I know you're intellectual, Carrie. Exactly. You're all about the brain. If, I mean, listen, if I'm intellectual with somebody, they can put that beep inside me any day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I have exactly. to be connected emotionally. Yep, that's the thing. You will allow it if they if they know how to... Exactly. Trick they you. First, oh, they first have to go through a lot of... Yes, yes. You know, things with me. Yeah. A okay. lot of conversations. Um, I would say I feel best about my relationship with my partner... Um... Puts their arm around me. Puts their pee, pee inside her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel closer to my partner one day. Don't look at their cell phone. <laughs> Just kidding. No, it should be things like that. I know we should. Taking me to dinner doesn't look at surprises me on a trip. Just the two of us. Yes. Okay. Helps me with my to. -do. Yeah, I mean, I'm to list. Helps me with my to-do list. Like, what the hell? Like, when did they write this anyway? Like, okay, court has never asked to have a to-do list. Oh my gosh! Praises my achievements. Discusses important decisions with me. Mm. What would important decisions be? Like, are we having a baby? Like that kind of stuff. Well, or or like a big like job decision or a move. Okay. Or like, that. like, you know, like, like, do you ever get mad when he just like makes decisions and you're like, wait, you yes. invested in that company? You didn't tell me? That happens every day. Um, okay. So let's do discuss important decisions with me. Oh, now you're like, oh yeah, that's a good Yeah. One. That's a, that's one. I feel special with my partner, values my opinion, encourage me when I am having difficulties, buys me presents. Buys me presents. <laughs> Not any present. It, may, it has to be a very good present. He I doesn't ever buy me presents anymore. He gives me a gift for the year. Oh, God. Mm. I don't like that. I like presents. He doesn't like shopping. Yeah, but that's when they don't like to do things and then they're doing for you and then you feel special. Because yes, well, he used to, to do, do it all the time. When, you know, when he was recording me, he would like always wheel me in somehow. Okay, how much how much you want to bet if you start giving him some good, really good blowjobs? Yeah, he'll start again. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Yeah, he's got I mean, he's got to freshen it up. You freshen it up. It's like you, all of a sudden you're gonna be like, "Wow, baby, you're giving me uh, yeah." We'll just keep those coming. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna tell him Carrie recommended it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'd most like. I most like my partner to show love by thinking for me. Thanking me? <laughs> thanking me for the things I do for them. <laughs> thanking me for the things I do for them. Listening to me talk about difficult issues I'm dealing with or spending money on me. Mm. Um, maybe listening to me to talk about difficult issues I'm dealing with. 
Yeah. It reminds me of Housewives. He I always know. would be a good listening ear. I'm always like, babe, what do I do? He's always like, less drama. Yeah. Somehow he I was, he was really good about drama. that. Yeah. I feel most love when my partner lets me vent when I'm under stress. Shows shows that they find me desirable. Yeah. Plans activities for us to do together. Um let's me um 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 I guess shows that they find me desirable. Mm, okay. My partner can best show love to me by joining me in activities we both enjoy, planning a special surprise for me, giving me praise for my achievements. Um, planning a special surprise for me. <laughs> I feel closest to my partner one day. Learn about my hobbies and interests. Touch me affectionately in all the right places. <laughs> Do chores to help me out. Um, touch me. <laughs> I'm switching it in out. All the right places. <laughs> all the right places. In all the right places. Core, are you listening? <laughs> yeah, he's in the other room. They are. Oh, gosh. You'd be scared yep. to hear about this. Oh, God, another one that we have to put these things in order. Oh, oh I'm okay. so excited. I've been waiting for this. Your partner had a heart on at work. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. Your partner had a hard day at work. Oh, what there will, we go. What will you, can you tell I haven't had sex in a while? It's all <laughs> oh, <beginning>. yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh. Your partner had a hard day at work. What will you do to support them? Put this in order. Encourage them to talk about it and listen compassionately. Ask questions about what happened and help them problem solve. Clean the house and make dinner. I know you're not doing that. So just spend the evening doing something fun together. Mm. Okay, the first two are going to stay as is. Encourage them to talk about it and listen compassionately. Ask questions. Then we're going to move up. Suggest spending the evening doing something fun together. That will be the next one. And then give them a big hug and offer a massage. That's going to be the next one. Yeah. And clean the house and make dinner. No. no. Yeah. No, no. No, thank yeah, that, you. Yeah, that will be the last. Okay. Is your partner's birthday? How will you celebrate? Book a table at a fancy restaurant, get them a nice gift. Arrange to spend time together in a place they love to visit. Write them a personal note and a card tell them what they love. Take care of all the chores oh sure. for the day so they can relax. Okay. Arrange to spend time together in a place they love to visit will be number one because court loves adventure. Mm -hmm. um, then I would say write them a special note or card would be next. The next would be book a table at a fancy restaurant. And the last would be take care of all the chores because that's not happening. Yeah. Yeah, we, you and me are not good with the chores. Not taking all the dogs up by myself every two seconds. Yeah. You and your partner have been distant lately. How do you try to reconnect? Tell them how much you love them and appreciate them. Spend more, spend more than you typically would to get them a really special gift. Ask how they have been feeling about the relationship. Plan some time together during an activity that you would both enjoy. Try to get close physically with cuddles <laughs> and an intimate context. context. <laughs> okay, with I would daddy. say plan some time together to do an activity we both enjoy. You've be been distant, one. remember? You've been distant. How are you going to get him to, to be... An activity. I don't just okay. jump in, in in the potato sack, you know? Okay, but an activity with you, okay. Number I'm not one. not easy, girl. There might be a reason why we're being distant. Okay. What is the number two? Okay. Um, um, tell them how much you love them and appreciate them. Mm -hmm. Spend more than you typically would to get them a really special gift. Oh, wait, shoot. I forgot about getting close physically. Oh, yeah. I'd I think I would get in trouble if I didn't do that. So, um, 
he would get grumpy. He would get more grumpy. Exactly. Um, I'm sure you're decent already because he's. So let's do that as him. let's do that as number two. Okay. Try to get close physically with cuddles. Okay. Okay. Number three. What is that? Tell them how much Tell you love them and appreciate them. Um, Okay, okay the, the last one would be ask how they have been feeling about your relationship. That'd be move that up. And then the, buying the gift would be last because he doesn't really like that stuff. Yeah, okay, perfect. I agree. Okay. You notice your partner is going above and beyond in your relationship lately. How do you show your appreciation? Offer to join them in one of their favorite hobbies or activities. Treat them with an unexpected splurge like a spa day, a fancy night out, or tickets to a sports event. Surprise them by complete, completing some chore. Oh God, the chores again. That are usually the responsibility. Explain what their actions mean to you and just how much you appreciate it. Give them kisses or affection. Okay, well, Cora would probably want affection. So let's do that as number one. And yeah, well, then, he's doing a lot of really great things for you. You know what he wants. Yep. Okay. <laughs> and then tickets to a sport game, probably. Okay. So that could be number two. And then offers them to join them on their favorite activities. And then uh, that's it, right. Um, okay. Explain what their actions mean to you. You can move that up. Yeah. We yep. never want to do this. <laughs> you and me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We are always last. Okay. Okay. Next that's good. Question. Your partner is having a stressful conflict with one of their family members. How do you show you're there for them? Be a sympathetic ear whenever they need one to vent. Give them thoughtful advice and share your honest opinions on the issue. Let them know you admire them and their ability to deal with tough situations. Do some of their chores for them so they can decompress. Give them lots of hugs. And blow Give jobs. them lots of hugs will be number two. Uh, number one is correct. Be be have a listening ear, and then number three would be correct. Give them thoughtful advice. The last one would be let them know you admire them. That's right, and then chores would be last. <laughs> we we both kind of agree on that one, and I think yeah. my, I think mine was chores was the last one still. I mean, all of those. You and your partner disagree about a big decision you have to make. Hmm. How do you show your commitment to them? Let's say you have to move or something big, big, big. Make an effort to be physically close to them, even if things feel tense. <laughs> oh. calmly, dis calmly discuss the pros and cons and express that you value your partner's opinion. Validate your partner's feelings on the issue and acknowledge that the difficulty of being in a disagreement suggests you take some time off from the issue to just enjoy an activity together. Let them know how much you appreciate their knowledge and insight on the matter. Okay, this one's hard. Um, um, I would say, number one, make an effort to be close to them, even if it feels tense. Because if I don't, he'd probably get annoyed and then the drama would be continuing. Um, yeah, just be like, put your pens down. Let me help you here. I'll yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah. Um, and it, it only benefits me to continue to be close to him that way because if I didn't, it would escalate into more problems, right? Yeah. So, You're smart. Yeah, less problems. You, you and then he stays in a good mood. You see that? Stays yeah. in a good mood. Stays in a good mood. Yes. And then he's going to be like, okay, what, what, what did you You're want? You're right, to babe. You're right. Yes. <laughs> okay. So that, okay. So um, I would say number two would be calmly discuss the pros and cons and express okay. that your value, your partner's opinions. Okay. Then I would say, um, um, yeah, I think the others are in good places. Okay. Yep. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Your partner confuses. Confesses. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Henry, your partner confesses that they hate their job. Oh my gosh. How do you give them support? 
offer to support them financially if they want to quit? Uh, no. <laughs> I can't so afford us. Help them figure out strategies to deal with the issue they're having. Sympathize with the stress they are going through. Offer to take on more of their responsibilities at home so they can have more time to decompress. Compliment them on their strength and persistence in working through this difficult time. Okay, number three should be number one. Mm -hmm. Okay, the last one should be number two. Yeah. <laughs> Compliment them. Number two? Yep. Okay. Um, let me go check. Yeah, okay. I think you, you leave number, them. Good, yeah. Number three is good. Yeah, I think that will be, yeah. Okay, they're all good now. They're yeah, all good. they're all good now, yeah. yeah. Your partner share, your, your partner shares that they are feeling overwhelmed by their responsibilities. How do you help out? Offer to hire someone to help them, like a housekeeper, babysitter, assistant, whatever. Take on some of their tasks to line their load. Empathize with their feelings of stress and assure them that everyone feels overwhelmed sometimes. <laughs> Help them figure out ways to be more efficient or effective with their workload. <sighs> Offer to join them in some of their tasks to make more more enjoyable. Gosh, um, let's see. You're like, no, I wouldn't do any of those. <laughs> um, I would say empathize with their feelings of stress and assure them that everyone feels overwhelmed sometimes. Yeah, I, I agree. Okay. Um, I would say number three should be number two. Take on some of their tasks to lighten their load. Mm -hmm. Then help them figure out ways to be more efficient could yeah. be the next one. And then the last saying. one, offer to join them in some of their tasks should be next. Yeah, yeah I agree. There you go. Okay. That will yeah. be you. Is day night. Oh, wait, you need to move the other one up. No, it was Wait, part. Offer oh, to help them. Yeah. Hire a housekeeper should be last. Oh, okay. Yeah. There we go. There you go. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Okay. I got to make sure my answers are right. Yes. We have to make sure we get the right answers. Yes. Okay. It's day night. What do you do to make it special? Give your partner lots of compliments. Splash out on an expensive dinner or event. Splash. Splash out. I mean, that's I've never heard that word. Splash Plan out. <laughs> yeah, splash out. So weird. Plan ahead with conversation topics that will interest and engage your partner. Make time and spa <laughs> space to be <sighs> physically intimate. Space, Choose make time and space. Yes, make time and space. Make sure you have plenty of space. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Choose an activity. <laughs> Choose an activity that is fun for both of you. Okay, plan Stay ahead nice. with conversation topics. We number one. Wow. Never in my Yes, that. Court loves to talk. Well, not like talk, but he likes to have deeper conversation. Mm -hmm. Not all about my day. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, okay, number two would be make time and space. For physical activities. Yeah. <laughs> We need the space. Um, number three would give your partner lots of compliments. Splash out expensive dinner. Um, maybe choose an activity that is fun for you both. Move that up and make the expensive dinner below that. Okay. You'd rather have a fun activity. Okay. There we go. Let's go to the next question. You're dating someone new. How do you show your interest? You're interested. Encourage them to open up about their emotions to you. Pay for dates and bring them unexpected gifts. Watch <laughs> them frequently. Oh my and gosh. Get, <laughs> and get physically close. <laughs> Offer to help them with everyday errands and chores. Ask for their opinion on important issues. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, Remember someone new. How, you how do you show you're interested? Um, I would say maybe... I would pay for dates and bring them unexpected gifts. Number one. Okay. Yeah. And then I would say, encourage them to open up about emotions to me. 
Um, ask them for their opinion on important mail. No, I would say touch them frequently would be third. <laughs> They'd rather have that than talk about yeah. politics. So yeah. then how about ask for opinion next? Okay. okay. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Next one. The last one. Oh my God. Oh, what is your gender? Um, female. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a woman. What what gender are you attracted to in romantic relationship? Um, men. Uh, men. Uh, what is your age? 39. Uh, 39. I had to think about that for a second. Oh my God, I'm scared. Okay, what are your results? Emotional. Whoa. Oh my God, you're emotional, number one. Financial is number two. Intellectual is three. Physical. Wow. Appreciation and activity is two. Activity. Physical is pretty far down there. Activity. You're emotional. Oh, I'm wow. Emotional. I, I've no, I'm not practical either. Um, okay, we emotional. should talk. We should call oh, Court yeah. to come in Let's here. Let's come in. Hurry. Me. Don't let's yeah. not show you. Hey, babe, will you come in here? I wanted to read you my um, love we language. Want to see if, he, if, we, if he can. <laughs> Okay, come here. Bye. He's let, me ask you, let me ask him which one he thinks you are. Yeah, yeah. You gotta ask him. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Five. Oh, there's okay, court. Court. Okay, court. Okay, okay. court. So I just gave Cameron a, lo a the love language test. Okay. okay, and she gave me one last time. So which one do you think she is? Uh, there's five love languages. I mean, seven. There's My seven. Definitely her favorite thing is to give gifts because that's better than receiving. Oh, that's so sweet, Court. That, that's, like, no. that's how you feel love, right? Yeah. 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 Okay, so you think, her, you think her love languages are, okay, physically, yeah. physical, okay. you know, uh, emotional, intellectual. Um, what are the other ones? Uh, give, gifts. Gift giving. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, it was is one <laughs> financial. Okay. Financial. That's financial? the gift giving financial. Okay. It's five love. An activity. Okay, so there's five love languages, not seven. There's five, oh. right? Yes. So okay. Emotional, intellectual, financial, activity, physical, appreciation. Oh, is appreciation separate? Mm, yes. Um, I would probably put activity at the lowest. I would probably put emotional, uh, intellectual, physical, uh, financial. What else is the other one? Activity or? Okay. Emotional. Yes. Financial. Which one okay. do you think is the top one? Her top one. I Emot think her top and one is maybe emotional. Hmm. Wow. She got, you got it right. You got it right. I that right. I know you. I've been married to you. Yeah. So, does that mean I'm crazy? No, I just know you. Yeah. I'm emotional. No. Like, <laughs> if I'm not listening or paying attention, it's not good. So I have to, <laughs> it's not I have good. To, I have to be giving you emotional. Listening. So, what do you think her second one is? Um, <laughs> it's either financial or it's probably not physical. So, I'd probably say financial. Got it right. Oh my gosh. Hey. Okay. Wait, two, my financial was second? Your your financial was second, Cam. You, I you thought know. it was intellectual. No, remember all those gifts? Oh shoot. <laughs> remember all the gifts you wanted? <laughs> yeah, but uh, expensive. How you how did how did people show love to you? I'm expensive. So the intellectual would be three. You gave me a hint. So yeah. Intellectual three, right? Yeah. 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 So, so Physical got, actually, four. Physical, okay. I'd probably gone with, I would have gone with that. Yeah. Appreciation, appreciation and then activity. You were right. Yeah. yeah. Activity was last. Yeah. I guess I need to work on my appreciation. Yeah, let's see how well you do with mine. Yeah. Well, I, I kind of answered for you too. <laughs> you yeah. Oh, because okay. it says, what would you do for your partner? Oh, okay. And I'm like, oh, he'd rather have a conversation than be buying well, a gift. Okay, exactly. But I was trying to tell her that you would rather get a blowjob. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, no, that's mine. Okay. This is mine. 
Nice. I yeah. Six or six, baby. Emotional, oh, intellectual. <laughs> practical. Practical. <laughs> yeah, I got zero practical. <laughs> yeah. 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 Practical, yeah, practical was not even a score. <laughs> not even, I didn't even get a point, babe. Very, I'm actually going to take a picture of that so you don't forget one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Keep, it, keep it close, babe. <laughs> yeah. 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 Thank you. Cool. So okay, what's my, you what's, love what's, me. My, what's my number one? Well, we'll tr- we'll figure yours uh, out. I'll do yours later, babe. We'll do that six later. Six. Court, court, we'll which one you think? Now. Court, court, tell court. court. Which which one you think was my number one? And what you think ooh, was yours? Ooh, Carrie, Carrie. I think it's intellectual with Carrie. Oh my God, it was. Yeah. Court, you're, you're so good. good. I cannot believe yeah. it. I'm, I'm leaving on high. Things are wrong. I'm in trouble. <laughs> I'm like I'll stay too long, I'll get in trouble. I'm surprised he didn't say it was physical with me. Oh, yeah. Because I'm always talking about all this sex. Acts. That's really funny. He didn't think about it, Carrie. He just thought of your brain. I know. Isn't that weird? Yeah. I know you think he would do you think he would have thought of intellectual for me? I mean, you know, I think he just knows that you like conversation, you know? Yeah. Maybe. But you like deep conversation. Deep, deep conversation. Deep. You will sit there for hours talking. I, I love you deep. You'll you figure out things about people that I would know for 10 years and somehow you'll hang out with them for an hour and know everything. I know. I am good at that. I anyway, don't know how you do it, girl. Well, I am so excited that we get to know Cam's now love language and you all know mine. So this has been super fun. Yeah. Uh, thank you guys for listening to us and spending another uh, Wednesday with us. Yeah. Uh, big kiss and we will see you next week. Yay. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, girl. Bye, girl. Bye.